Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with part two of the Sky Base slash Sky City. Now you're probably asking yourself, Komodo, I don't see a Sky City. Well, we're going to be doing that here today. Now, I listened to the comments from the last episode, and a lot of people wanted this to be some sort of attack. So we will be having an attack on the base, and the Sky City, you guys wanted to see like half of it actually falling down into what's going to be water as soon as I make the tiles water. Uh, it's actually a, a really big area to fill in. Uh, we'll try to start on that here in a second. So anyways, today's the start of the Sky City. We've got this little connecting bridge here, which I think we're going to have like a little battle with some soldiers going on. Uh, maybe the people from the base. So, hmm, what's our enemy? We've got the green people. I'm not sure what the enemy is yet. Is it going to be like robots? Is it going to be an army? I'm not really sure, but I know I can start on the city itself. So, what I'm going to do here, we're going to go into town, uh, which by the way, if you guys have any suggestions for this area, uh, comment below, and also, if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it always helps out my channel, and uh, let's get started on this. Alright, so the Sky City here, you're going to go immediately to like a big downtown area, I don't think the Sky City is going to have like little neighborhoods, because honestly, that would be a waste of space here, so... Everything's going to be skyscrapers, and what we're going to do here, uh, this is going to be the main area. This is going to be where the start of the downtown is. Now, we need a name for the Sky City, so if you, the viewer at home, knows what you would want to call this, let me know down in that comment section, and then we'll select a name for the next episode. All right, so that is the beginning of the land. I'm already trying to think of how in the heck is this going to work. So I think this side of the city is going to be okay. But this side is slowly starting to fall off. Like, I'm going to say this chunk maybe about out here is going to be, like, literally falling into the water. So, let's go ahead and grab another one of these blocks. I'm going to turn off snapping here. And I'm going to go ahead and start to slope this off like it's starting to break. So, we really don't have to have this very even. Now, question is, how is it breaking? Is it just like a missile strike? Is something big attacking it? You know, we have Megabot over there, which is in the other part of the city. I almost thought about making a big robot attack it, too. Uh, Megabot's actually an enemy of the grannies. So maybe this is an attack on the people. Maybe the grannies have to come in and save them. I'm not really sure. So we got that. Okay, so that's your first slope off. Uh, let's go and get the second one going here. So it's really going to be breaking off at this angle. So let's go down. There we go. Uh, something like this. The only uh, the only real challenge I see here is going to be streets. Uh, when the sloping happens here, you can't tilt the streets like this. So we might replace some of these blocks uh, with maybe concrete ones to try to mimic streets. Because, yeah, those street pieces only go straight. Uh, they don't actually like lean like this or uh, go at an angle. So let me go ahead and start on this. We're going to do the same effect like we do at the uh, sky base here with the... Uh, the I guess you can call it the earth or the ground under it so yeah this is gonna take some work here folks uh, give me a little bit and we'll give you guys an update all right so I want to give you guys a bit of a progress update I really should have cut in ahead of time but yes I was too busy building and having fun here so you can see that I've really started up on this city uh, we're using the same wall approach as far as kind of how the base was except for there is no gate here at the uh, the main bridge, which I've got to add something to the bottom of this. There's got to be some sort of support uh, system or something down here because it looks really odd from the bottom. But, like I said, if you go up here, you can see this is kind of the normal untouched part of the city. We might have a couple explosions and stuff in here. Uh, say there's something attacking it. Still haven't quite figured that one out. But yeah, uh, no people in here yet. But you can see I've kind of placed some skyscrapers here. Uh, we've got a nice little park area back here. I don't know why I even add these details. This is going to be something I'm going to show you guys for like 10 seconds and be like, all right, that's enough of that. So yeah, we got a park back here. you got a fire station over here. Uh, you can come down the street. This looks absolutely massive uh, from this perspective down here. But think about this. It's massive down here, but we're also in the sky. Like, yes, this is probably my most amazing build. Not bragging, but in my mind, this is my most um, amazing build that I've done. But yeah, uh, let's keep working. 
Alright, so we're gonna get to the point where I was talking about with the road. The road cannot be sloped off anymore. Maybe we'll just make some destruction down here. I think I could cover this up because yeah, if I were to like grab this road piece and stick it down here It would still be up and or I shouldn't say up and down It'll still be level and uh, that's not good because it doesn't look right So what we need to do here. We need to actually start with the, some skyscrapers here Actually, we could probably use some of the zombie ones. Is it zombie or mil? Actually, I think it's military ones uh, I think they have some buildings in here that are halfway destroyed, but they don't look all decayed uh, like the apocalypse ones do. Yeah, there's a couple in here. They're mainly smaller buildings, which is kind of a shame. I mean, we can use some of these, but yeah, we're probably going to have to use mostly town buildings here. So let's go back into skyscrapers. So essentially, this thing is collapsing. So we can stick buildings like this. Like this. They don't have to be level. They're all going to be falling at different, like, uh, I guess speeds and stuff like that. Oh, man. This is going to be cool. I've got a vision in my head. I'm just really hoping I can perfect said vision. So, ideally, there would have been another, uh, probably intersection right about here. Uh, so, let me go ahead and start to stick these here. This one probably needs to go on this side, like it's just now going off. All right. This is going to take a little bit. I'll show you guys here in a minute how I'm going to cover this up, though. All right, so we are definitely at work here and folks look at this you can start to see the shadow what I'm doing here I'm extending the ocean out right now now. I don't know how much of this attack. We're gonna get into I'm gonna probably have some military forces uh, Maybe scrambling, but I think I'm gonna leave the attack up to you guys like what's gonna be attacking it because I I think the city's gonna take a long time here today I've already spent probably close to an hour doing this but I have something to reveal to you guys that I think you're gonna like. Uh, there's also a reason I need to extend this ocean out too, uh, because it was actually one of the comments you guys uh, suggested with the city. All right, folks, check this out. I am actually really, really happy with the way this came out. So you can see the uh, the terrain is sloping down. Uh, there's a reason I added the water, and that was because, of course, it was a sky city, and. I guarantee you at least half of it is probably already in the water below. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and do this because we are going to do this today opposed to doing all the attack stuff. Uh, we'll have to figure that out and we'll have probably some sort of sky war up here uh, next episode. But you can see the lands falling off. Check out the details here. I still need to add people, which we're about to do that here in a second. Uh, but let me go ahead and zoom in all the way. So yeah, I was using a mixture of pretty much all the buildings. We got some zombie buildings in there, some military, but you can see the debris that's falling off. The land, you saw how I kind of uh, scooped it down a little bit. Uh, there's the debris. You've got full buildings falling off here. Cars. Man, this is crazy. Uh, the whole thing's just collapsing right now, so you have more buildings. Uh, you can see kind of where the break is. I might mask this a little bit because I don't like this little drop off. Uh, with some spheres and maybe some more debris. Uh, but yeah, you can see all the stuff falling off here. That's how I covered up the road. I added that debris. So, say if you were driving here in town. Let's go ahead and go. Whoop. And this is the fall off here. And then you can see how it falls all the way down into the ocean. That is awesome. It, it looks to me, it looks even uh, better like from afar. So, if you look at it from here, that looks incredible. I like that. So, <laughs> poor Sky City. Should probably add some thrusters under there. I didn't get a for sure answer as to uh, how these things are supported. So we just went with the uh, the thruster theory. You know, oddly enough, we might have explained where the tsunami came from. Could you imagine half of that landmass falling off into the ocean here? For sure it would have caused this, right? I mean, this dates back probably nine months at least uh, ago. This was probably, I want to say, maybe the... Uh, fifth or sixth episode of Tiny Town was this major tsunami and now once you think about it It kind of makes sense. Maybe that's the reason for the tsunami. I didn't think about it that way All right, so I need to go ahead and make some stuff under in the, uh, the ocean here All right, so I went ahead and started to add details. You can see the military is diverting forces uh, over to the city over here to prepare for I guess the rest of the battle now the timeline of this one is gonna be a little strange Which by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up through here. Uh, you can see people running. I just deleted a part of the bridge Hans get that back. All right, so I've added cars through here. I've added some more details 
not too many cars, I would think, in Sky City. Most people could probably walk, but say they're really, really, really wealthy. They don't want to walk a block, so they'd rather take their car. So that's the reason there's a couple cars in here. I don't want to overload it because it would feel a little unrealistic. Uh, you can also see a helicopter up there. So this is barely hanging on. So I want to make that pretty clear because if we look at the timeline here, we have the tsunami, which that is the reason for the tsunami now. So you have that already happening. This is falling off, but... I wouldn't say it's the freshest. Maybe there's still earthquakes happening under. Because if you look down here, and you can see I've added uh, basically the other side of the city. Now, my thought is the reason you're not going to see any like full buildings down here. Think about that. That is a huge fall for a skyscraper. There's not going to be much left. There's going to be maybe some pillars. <laughs> it's not going to be recognizable. So that's why you see all the debris here. Uh, you can see maybe parts of the outside wall still poking up. A lot of terrain. Uh, this is a fairly deep, I would say, uh, portion of the ocean. Uh, so you're not going to see too much poking up out of the water. Uh, it actually uh, also tipped over a ship here. So that splashed down. That swung this way, caused the tsunami. So if that makes sense to you guys. Now, there is some stuff still falling off. Uh, like I said, it's just hanging on is what it's doing. Uh, so you got a couple more cars that have, uh, are starting to fall out of the sky here. Man, I like this. This was a cool build. Holy man. Yeah, we got a lot done here today. I'm actually pretty proud. So I think we're going to stop here because there is going to be a part three to wrap this up because I need to figure out, I, I want to get you guys more involved in this one. What is attacking? What caused this to collapse? Was it just a normal army? Was there a big robot? What are they going to be fighting? Plus, we got to get the grannies in on the action, which, man, it's so hard to believe everything... Like, we were just over here a couple episodes ago, right? How far we've expanded. So, for instance, look over here. This is uh, the big mega bot attack uh, by the forest fire. There's the Sky City way over there. I haven't really looked at this thing from too many angles. Hold on, let's go back. Uh, let's go back from maybe the furthest point over here uh, in the uh, landslide area. Look at this. Look how much we've built in this city. This is ridiculous. We'll have to do another town tour probably here in a couple months just to catch up on all the new stuff. But anyways, we need a name for the city. Also, a reason for the attack. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.